hello guys and welcome back to our youtube channel today guys we are diving deep into the captivating world of african literature specifically tailored for ugc net aspirants guys this journey will not only help you prepare for your exam but also open up the treasure of african literature heritage guys africa is the second largest continent on earth and it is a place of diversity enchantment and guys its literature is a reflection of its history culture and the remarkable stories told by its people some important african literature if we talk about are uh, written by chinua achibe things fall apart and vol soenka death and the king's horseman these works are not just stories but gateways to understand african societies and their challenges now guys as ugc net aspirants you must know that african literature is an important part of our syllabus but it's not just about studying for exam it's about exploring a world of thought provoking narratives and gaining a deeper perspective on african rich history and culture guys we will journey through the lives and works of iconic author like chinua achibe nogi wathyango and buchi amicheta their stories and perspective have had a profound impact on african literature and the global literary stage guys guys african literature is not just about novels and essays remember this thing guys it is rooted in the rich tradition of oral storytelling these folk tales remember passed down through generations have shaped the literature we study today so these are some important points you should remember so whether you are an aspiring literature scholar or a ugc net candidate this journey through african literature will not only enhance your knowledge but also provide a greater appreciation for the voices of africa now guys i am giving you certain books that you have to read so that you can understand my certain things now guys when we studied post colonial things we studied that britishers or we can say the first settlers they established their colonies in india in africa in australia and certain places you know very well they tried to dominate the culture to eliminate the culture and they started introducing their you know own culture so the narratives Uh, so you can say that the natives people they were started resisting the alien culture they protest and it was a cultural protest it was a language protest remember this thing guys this has become the part of african narratives now we will going to talk about the whole of african literature africa is broadly divided into 11 languages there are lot of languages like uh, some uh, are some just like uh, uh, one uh, language is sepedi also known as susutho and siswati and uh, africans english and isik soha and isizula some are matlab uh, you can say these are the african names of the languages so these languages are there but mainly we have to focus on the language which is english or we have been translated in english so the writer those who have discuss about how they dominate their culture how they brought them to a new world by abolishing their own idea their own tradition the african people they have faith in god remember this thing guys just like india we are faith in god they have faith in forest they had their own you know small tribal conditions because when we compare african civilization with indian civilization uh, yes uh, we if we you know if we compare indian civilization and african civiliz civilization one one most important thing that is very common is that for the british settlers it was really easy to colonize africa because africa was divided in 1000 of colonies or you can say in tribes and every tribe has 300 to 400 people with their own rituals a different religion different perceptions and different beliefs but in india when britishers came we already had a strong culture so we had directly three religion you know sikhism islam and hinduism so it was very tough for the britishers to colonize india especially the colonizing the mind of india because we already had a deep rooted culture but in africans they had a culture of their own tribal so every tribe you know had a culture it was very easy for them now so if uh, you talk about the pain suffering torture uh, atrocity white black resistance everything is the theme of african literature 
I wanted you to read books, which is the first one is you should remember Chinua Achibe work, uh, Things Fall Apart. I know many of you have read it and many of you will be hearing it for the first time. Things Fall Apart, novel by Chinua Achibe. This is very, very important book and has been asked in net exam for various times. Go in the depth of the story, the name of the protagonist, uh, Okonkwo and uh, you know Ijima, the character, Mr. Brown, Ikmifuna, Yunoko, etc. And some other people, names, themes and how the missionaries or uh, the white people, settlers, Mr. Brown and other people and their reaction. This is very, very important. Then the sequel is no longer at ease. This is also a must read book. You had to read it. Then when we go to Nugi Vathyango, most important writer guys, Nugi Vathyango is one who said that I will never write in the language of colonizer. And he started avoiding English language by writing in the language of his own language. And his uh, language name was uh, Gyoko. Remember. Now, presently Nugi Vathyangos has started writing in English, but he is the first man to completely deny the use of English language as it was the language of colonizers. And uh, this is called abrogation. A, it is a post-colonial terms, guys. Now, his book Black Hermit is very, very important. Then uh, Weep Not Child is very important. And then River Between, one of the most important. There is a presently a latest writer, uh, Chiminanda Nagochi Adichi. She has dominated the African literature. She is the lady who has written Half of the Yellow Sun and We Should All Be Feminist. Most important work. Book written by Chiminanda Nagoti Adichi. Okay, remember this. Uh, these names are, you know, African names. So write the book. Find it. It is very, very important. Then you have to read Ben Okri's The Famished Road. It is a Booker Awardee book and they have asked the question in net exam. Here you will find the term Abiku or spirit child. Then we have a writer Nuruddin Farah. So, uh, he is a Somalia novelist. Right. That's very important. Then uh, we have certain other writers. Those who are the natives of Africans. Now I can give you the complete detail on African literature in the next video lecture guys. So uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos in this series where we will delve into the African literature moment, important concept and key authors, all designed to help you to crack your UGC net exam. And uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our in-depth series of African literature for UGC net exam. So thank you for watching and we will be see you in our next video guys. Thank you guys.